Hello everyone, my name is Rain, and welcome back to another Hytale News video. We've got a huge video for you guys today. Essentially, we'll be breaking down all of the exclusive information we've gathered from the recent Hytale developer event. But before we hop into the news, we want to give a shout out to our Discord community which you can join right now. It's the number one place to interact with the community for all things Hytale. As always, the link is in the description. And without further ado, let's get into the news. Starting off yesterday, Hytale game developers Chris Thurston and Sean McCafferty hosted a developer conference at EGX. Here, they show us the origins of how Hytale came to be, as well as some never-before-seen screenshots, the game coming to multiple platforms, and even a teaser trailer for Zone 3 at the end. The first thing we'd love to show you guys is this early version of Hytale. As we can see, we have an adventurer wielding a stone sword. Keep in mind this is one of the first screenshots they had of the game, so the lighting engine and many other things were not ready at the time. Moving on, our next picture is how the world generation system will work, this being in Zone 1. Here's a picture for you now, showing a dense forest to our right as well as a cave generated straight through the mountain in front of us. Our next screenshot of Zone 1 gives you the view of the landscape from the edge of a forest, revealing a valley and a wide mountain range in the back. And finally, here's the most recent screenshot of Zone 1. Although the image is in low quality, we can find detailed particles and a shading system working together to bring the place alive. Furthermore, we can catch the fogged image of a tower in the background. Be ready to conquer some dungeons, adventurers. Just a quick reminder, this game will be easily runnable on almost any machine. It's incredible how they have managed to do this. Moving on to Zone 2, we are shown this beautiful screenshot. We can see the world gen system really coming together, creating a very rocky landscape bordered on the right by what seems to be a savanna-like biome. This zone is in complete contrast to Zone 1. Since this was the only real information we gathered regarding Zone 2, we will be moving on to Zone 3. For our first image, we are shown a spatial forest. Here, we can notice the familiar tall trees as well as the beautiful hilly landscape. Here's where it gets exciting. Next, we have our first look at how multiplayer will look in Hytale. Here's an early shot of the functional networking in Hytale. Here, we can see our first look at the name tags in the game. Of course, we all pity Rez's in the corner. Come join in on the fun. Next, we are shown Hytale's Mall Maker in action, this time with a never-before-seen creature, a rooster. Finally, we are shown another multiplayer scene in the game, consisting of everyone's favorite, the cinema. This time, however, we are shown a video of a cat instead of a dog, which is definitely the most important part. Additionally, another one of the greatest and rather memorable parts of the conference was when Chris Thurston ended his presentation, stating, There is no reason for this slide. I like the pigeon. Unfortunately, nobody laughed at this cheeky joke, in which we've concluded that the audience doesn't have the best sense of humor. That's pretty lame if you ask me. Now moving on to our next segment of the event, we are shown Hytale today. Basically, the developers cover all of the major subjects that were brought up in the blog post. Although, before we get into the Q&A session, we are shown a teaser trailer of Zone 3 and Hytale. Take a look. Truly an amazing piece. Let's get the first thing out of the way. We were shown our first look at snow. Being less obnoxious and particle intensive than Minecraft snow, this really brings an amazing atmosphere to the game. Moving on, we were exposed to a few new creatures in this teaser along with another clip of one already seen before. Let's break it down for you. In the first scene, we witness a wolf lying in the snow, its pelt slowly rising and falling as it's sleeping. Notice the attention to detail in both the face and its fur coat. This wolf is definitely one of the cutest creatures I've ever seen in Hytale. Our next animal is the polar bear, placing himself precariously on top of the rock, possibly waiting for the sign of movement in the river where fish may lurk. Skipping past a dense spruce forest, we get a clip that contains a small mouse chilling next to a flower. And in the final clip of the teaser, we are shown our first look at a beautiful white snow owl. Its large beady eyes will definitely put you in a trance to follow this creature wherever you go. To finish off the video, we will discuss the Q&A that was at the end of the EGX event. During this segment, someone asks, will Hytale come out only to PC or other consoles as well? Sean responds with, we are focused on PC and Mac at the moment. However, we will most likely be pursuing multiple platforms sooner rather than later. All of our console friends out there, you heard it here first. Hytale will eventually be coming to multiple platforms, meaning you won't be forced to dish out a large sum of money to actually play the game when it fully releases. That concludes the breakdown, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. What was your favorite part of the event? Personally, mine was the teaser of Zone 3, which gave us a vast amount of information, along with a magical landscape that I definitely will be keen to explore. 
But anyways, now it's time to thank you all for watching today's news video. It truly means a lot to us. You, the community, is what drives us every day to continue to bring you the most recent and relevant news from Hytale. Thank you. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Let us know if we miss anything at all, and we'll be sure to respond, as we'd love to hear anything more about Hytale. Before we go, let's discuss down in the comments below what excited you the most about Hytale's developer event. We're always reading, and we'll be responding to as many comments as possible. But as always, we'll see you guys soon for another Hytale News video.